Welcome, welcome to this special mosaic crochet party on this beautiful Saturday. I am so, so excited to be here. Please leave a comment down below. We're in three different locations. We're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, uh, on my Facebook page, as well as my Facebook group. So say hello, hello, tell me where you're from, and let me know whether or not you worked on this beautiful mosaic crochet, mystery crochet along. So this is what we actually made. The colors are a little off here on the screen, I apologize but it is a pin cushion mug and saucer. So obviously, you know, it doesn't work exactly on my hand here right now with the saucer part, but the idea was that you have that circle here below, you know, just to lift it up a little bit and provide a little bit more stability and uh, make it stable and have this bend up a little bit so you can put your stitch markers in there, etc. I absolutely love the idea of what everyone has been making. Some of you didn't want a pin cushion, totally fine works with me some people are using it to put their hooks in it that's totally fine as well some of you are using it for jewelry and uh, for an actual mug cozy or for a candle cozy uh, some of you have used it for bottles which I absolutely love so someone made this entire section twice and turn it into a bottle holder. I love your ideas. I took them all, love them, love them, love them. I had a smile on my face the entire week because I absolutely loved the, the process of this mystery crochet along. I know we didn't start with part one with the, uh, with the mosaic part exactly, but I felt like if I would have given you the mosaic first and then give you all those circles at the end, you wouldn't have been as happy. So I wanted the foundation to be set with just circles. Uh, circles is a good reminder anyways. Everyone should know how to make circles. So that was really, really fun. And then of course we had the mosaic part and I really made sure this time you had a longer video available to you so you can go with, work through it. But here's the thing, and that's a lot of you guys have told me, they have never made mosaic crochet before. Let's go through it for those who have not done mosaic crochet or still not really clear what this whole thing is all about, right? Well, it is trending for sure. Let me hold it just like this right now, okay? It is trending, 100% trending. It's been trending for a few weeks, uh, for months actually, and it's still really, really popular. And I can tell you exactly why it's so popular. Not only does it look incredible, it has a beautiful texture to it. It only uses two different types of stitches typically, which is the single crochet and the double crochet. Just in different positions, right? Uh, plus, it allows you to have no color changes within a row or round, right? So for those who really do not like yarn tangles, so many different colors, or having to change colors within a row or round because, you know, some people just don't like it, which is totally fine. Then mosaic crochet is really the solution for exactly that. You're only changing colors at the beginning of the row or round. So that's really it, right? But here's the thing, and that's a lot of people don't know about this. Did you know, and I'm gonna ask you, and please raise your hand, you just leave a comment down below. There's so many comments right now flying in. I appreciate every one of you guys. Make sure you share this video for anyone uh, that is a crochet fan, okay? If you know, if you have a crochet bestie, go share this video. They, I'm sure they wanna know all about mosaic crochet as well especially if it's trending. And I apologize if I'm gonna to touch my nose a few times, I am sensitive to light, but without light you can't see me, right? So, just saying, uh, but anyways, let's go into it. I wanna know, did you know there is different types of mosaic crochet? Like, really think about it. There's different ways to crochet mosaic crochet. Did you know? I'll go through them list by list just in a moment, but I wanna know from you guys if you ever have done that. I have loved not having million threads. I hear you. I can't wait to finish it. Yay! <laughs> First time doing mosaic crochet and love it. I am so thrilled. I'm still working on it. Yay! Oh, you guys have no idea. I have so much in stock for you. So hang tight. This is all about mosaic crochet. We're going to talk about mosaic crochet. You want to learn about mosaic crochet? You're in the right place. So just make sure you tell your crochet friends that we're here, okay? Whether you're on YouTube, whether you're on Facebook, just share along. The only video you can't really share is my Facebook group. But if you on my page or on YouTube, go share along, okay? I'm sure you have plenty of crochet friends. Anyways, let's go through the different types of mosaic crochet, all right? So we have inset mosaic crochet and we have overlay mosaic crochet. You'll be like, hang on, you mentioned mosaic crochet is also known as overlay crochet. 
That's correct, because that's the most well-known technique. And you know when something happens like that, when something is well-known, it's kind of stuck, right? People just kind of don't say it and say, well, mosaic crochet is overlay crochet. That's typically what you hear. But what you don't hear is that there's different types of mosaic crochet, okay? Meaning, the mosaic crochet looks similar, it's the same idea, but it's done slightly different. So there's inset mosaic crochet and there's overlay mosaic crochet. So overlay, and let me know, did you know about this? Leave a comment down below, say, I didn't know, or say, I did know. I wanna know if you guys knew or didn't know about this. I wanna know, because <laughs> this is actually a very, very special topic, a topic for me. I've been working on this, research on this for months, and there's really people, even designers, who had no idea. I just talked to a really good friend of mine yesterday, love her dearly. We've been chatting for, for years, and this is the first time we actually talked on the phone. And I told her about it, and she's like, what? There's a difference? I had no idea. Okay, so overlay crochet is what you've been doing right here. This is overlay crochet. What overlay crochet in summary is, you're doing one row at a time, you're working exactly on the graph, what exactly the graph says, and you're doing a single crochet in the back loop only, typically, and you're also doing the double crochet down in the front loop. That is easy, straightforward, right? Well, you can also do it slightly different. You could technically, instead of making a single crochet behind that double crochet, right? You could make a chain and a skip stitch. Well, that is also the idea for inset mosaic crochet. Inset mosaic crochet is another way of preventing fringe. Let's say it that way. That really is what it is, okay? So when you do this technique in rows, you have to cut your yarn and you start over every single time, okay? So you're starting over at the edge, you're running to the other edge, regardless of your lefty or righty, right? You're just going from one edge to another edge. You never turn. You never, so think of it like Tunisian. You never turn, okay? You just keep cutting your yarn and starting over. That may sound like you're wasting yarn, Actually not. Overlay crochet is still less yarn than inset crochet. Why? Because in inset crochet, you're doing every row twice. You're working your way back and forth and you're doing the color changes. Let's say it's a, in a row. You're doing the color changes only on one side. Okay? So that means you're actually changing colors and dropping your yarn. So you're doing every row twice. That is inset uh, overlay. Uh, inset mosaic crochet. That means it's also a little bit more elongated, okay? So there are different techniques, but here, hang on, there's more. There's more, yes, because typically mosaic crochet is known for the regular crochet. You're like, regular crochet? Yeah, well, we have also Tunisian crochet, remember? Well, you can do mosaic crochet in Tunisian crochet. Did you know? Tell me, did you know? <laughs> Because I want to know. I was completely baffled when I looked online and people didn't know about it. <laughs> well, considering years ago, I didn't know it either. Let's be fair. I was a beginner at one point too, right? But now I do know uh, for years. And there is a difference between insect uh, and overlay mosaic crochet. And there's a difference between rows and rounds. And there's a difference between regular and Tunisian mosaic crochet. Okay, have I baffled your mind yet? <laughs> But here, I'm going to take one step further, hopefully not confusing you more, uh, and then I'm giving you a few examples after, okay? I love that everyone didn't know, but are you guys willing to learn? Are you willing to learn? So tell me what you like to learn. Okay, I want to know. Leave a comment down below and say, yes, I want to learn. Because in the meantime, I'm going to tell you that um, mosaic crochet graphs can be used for other techniques, such as tapestry, or corner to corner, or uh, fair aisle, Tunisian, the regular Tunisian crochet. Yes, you can use that graph, no problem. It doesn't work the other way around. So, which means you cannot use a regular graph and use it for mosaic crochet. That ain't gonna work. Because you probably have noticed, because we're doing one color per row around, you have to have a multiple of three at one point. And the when you have two that are overlapping each other, then it's literally like, you know, like this, right? So you have one stitch, number three. So it's one, two, three, right? So think about the double crochet in the, in the pixel graph, right? So you have one, two, three pixels in the same color. Well, if you have two on top of each other, the th third one is also the first one for the next one. 
So it's a little bit more complicated than that, right? But don't you worry because I have a video tutorial for all of that for you. Actually, not just one. I have 11 video tutorials for you because I want you to really learn about this because literally once you've done it once or twice or three times, in my opinion, you get hooked. The idea of not having to change colors within a row and having to worry about whether I'm going to carry the yarn, dropping the yarn, do I need uh, bobbins, and all kinds of shenanigans, right, and make it thicker and pull it somewhere in any kind of way, I, that's, you know. But here's the thing, mosaic crochet can be so many different things. Are you ready to learn mosaic crochet? Would you like to learn mosaic crochet? And let me show you some examples of what mosaic crochet really is like. And I'm going to give you a little heads up right away. Overlay crochet is not only the easiest, it's also my favorite, which means all my patterns will be based on overlay crochet. Plus, it's the most popular version that everyone knows of. So it's the easiest one to understand. OK, so you probably have seen the cover of this video. So you've probably seen this one. OK. So this is a cowl. I'm not going to put it on right now because it's going to get too hot for me with my five lights around it. I think someone said today I'm looking a little different and more beautiful. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, I put a little bit of eyeliner on it this time. I had fun this morning on my makeup. <laughs> and uh, the light is a little brighter today. Anyways, thank you. I appreciate compliments anytime. But let's talk about it, okay? So we have this beautiful cowl right here, okay? Isn't that gorgeous? It uses different, uh, you know, graphs that are that I literally combined. So I created these graphs, okay? So I created the graphs and the pattern, of course. Uh, all the patterns are mine. Uh, but it's literally, you know, two different versions combined. Can you see that you can combine graphs? So this was one graph, right? It looks very similar to this. You see this? I literally took this idea, this idea right here, and made it into this. Looks very similar, doesn't it? You see that? Instead of a dot in the middle, it's a line. So the idea is the same, right? So we have this, and then I just combined it with this one down here. I just literally decided to put that on top on the bottom, and there we go. Gorgeous, right? And you can see on the inside, yes, it's still rose, still done exactly the same way as you've done in this one, right? Just as a cowl. Okay, but here's the thing. You don't have to just do, you know, random geometric shapes and things like that or lines. You can also make pictures. Yep, you can make pictures. Look at this. I designed this. So we have two reindeers going and fighting for the tree, which is the center, right? We have the tree, we have the two reindeers, and then we have hang on, I have to hold it properly. Right there, we have the snowflake, which obviously is not in an angle. You could do mosaic crochet in an angle, but I didn't go that far, okay? Just let's not go that far. We're just gonna start very easy. This is a beginner friendly version. So yeah, you can make pictures. <laughs> you can make pictures, but that's not all. You can actually make huge pictures. Are you ready for that? Look at that. So don't tell me you need tapestry crochet to make pictures or fair aisle or corner to corner. You can do it with mosaic crochet too. Yeah, right here, as you can see, it's a house and a tree. And by the way, this is a pillow case. I just didn't put a pillow in right now, otherwise you couldn't see the full picture. So like in a, in a camera, in reality you would, yes. But this is a tree with a house next to it. And it just kind of reminds me of Christmas time. You know, the giant tree, we have the star on the top, we have the chimney with the smoke. It's just beautiful, right? It's a pillowcase. But there's so much more you can do. Let me show you all of them. So since we're in a Christmas in a tree theme, how about a hat? Hold on, I have to do it this way so it's properly done. Okay, what about a hat with trees all the way around? All done in mosaic crochet, overlay crochet. Yep, you can do that. And since you all like blankets, a lot of you guys do, what about this blanket? It is one simple graph, one small skinny graph done twice in this direction and then a few times this direction. See? And here's the thing. A lot of you guys probably done say, well, if it's overlay crochet, wouldn't you then have all this yarn on the edge? Ha ha. You can do something called fringe, right? You probably know that. So it's like this, by the way, this is, um, glow in the dark by the way this is glow in the dark yarn so you know you can have fringe on the side that's if you want to do that that's fine but you can also do this and this is called the envelope border 
okay? It's a more thicker border and it captures, literally captures your yarn and wraps it on the inside and nothing comes out. You don't have to weave in your ends. So no worries, no weaving in ends. You simply put a border all the way around and it captures your yarn on the inside. Have you seen this before? It's, it's incredible. I absolutely love that idea. And I have multiple different uh, pro uh, projects like this where you can see it. Here you can see it too. This is a little coaster. Then we have this, which is a table runner, and uh, not a table runner, a placemat. And then here, there's no envelope border in this, but we have fingerless gloves. And if you like fringe, we have a scarf in fringe. You, can, you don't have to use fringe. You can use the envelope border around it. That's totally fine. And if you guys want to learn Tunisian, yes, I did not weave in my ends for this one because it's a square. I want to see if I can reuse it for something. But here's a square with a little butterfly on it, right? And then we have a basket. How cute is this basket, right? So you can literally use it for so many different things. We have boot cuffs. I know the winter is coming around. Boot cuffs. And then here's a fun little thing that I did. I used a ver the same the same graph. I just manipulated it slightly. I shouldn't say manipulate. Modified it. Sorry, used the wrong word. Modify it slightly. So here's the pattern, okay? This is a little pouch. I added a zipper, which is optional, right? I added a zipper with some lining. Um, so here's a little pouch. And I used the exact same pattern, okay, to make this, which is a bag. And I actually didn't even crochet the handle. I... This time I made it, you know, just put a leather strap on it. But can you see that it's exact same graph? I just stopped early and didn't add more of these, um, what I call lanterns on it, hanging lanterns, right? So you can do many different things with mosaic crochet, okay? And I have all the tutorials for you. Let me show you a little bit more in detail all these tutorials. Have you shared yet, by the way? If you're here, hello, hello. If you come in late, totally fine. I'm showing you everything you can do with mosaic crochet. Okay, I'm gonna show it to you because it's just so incredible. I'm just in love with it. Mosaic crochet is so, so fun. Okay, are you ready for this? Okay, here we go. I have a new ebook. You probably expected this. So we have this blanket. This is the blanket that I just showed you. Okay. So we have mosaic crochet. This is a ebook that I printed out. You have two options. You can keep it digitally and you have, you can click around, right? Or you can print it out like me. This is what I do. I like to print it out. Okay. So we have literally an ebook that has all of this in here. So we have all of these tutorials, as I just talked about. We have rows, we have inset, there's different types of inset uh, mosaic crochet. We have overlay crochet, as we talked about. Uh, Tunisian crochet, we have the fringe border, we have the envelope border, we have mosaic crochet and rounds, and I'm teaching you how to make your own graphs for mosaic crochet. So if you have an idea and you really, really want to turn into reality, uh, or you want to tap into being a, possibly a designer, uh, well, here you go. <laughs> there it is. This is a tutorial, a, literally a video tutorial teaching you how to do your own graphs with mosaic crochet. And then we have all of these patterns plus all of these graphs that I designed for you. So we have more Christmas theme right here. We have uh, music notes, piano, uh, all kinds of different shapes. We have a dog, we have a cat, we have a, you know, a paw print. I know we have animal lovers in here. We have a rose, we have like uh, a weave. We have like this, this really cool effect of lines, right? And to turn us into this illusion square, right? There's all these different things that you can try out. Are you ready for this? Would you like to have all this? Uh, there's a link down below. And then here's also the, uh, QR code if you just want to scan it, okay? Literally, it's all in here. So I have, and by the way, let me remind you really quickly, this is clickable uh, on digital. So if you click here, you're going to be taken to exactly where you need to go, okay? This is 98 pages long, and it's an ebook, and I printed it out. As I said, let me remind you, this is an ebook. You can keep it digitally, and you can click around, okay? No problem. And then here are all these tutorials with all the videos. They're, they're also embedded. OK, 
Okay, so you have everything. And I decided to even give you the written pattern. So if you're not a fan of graphs, although I highly recommend you learn how to do graphs uh, and read them, here's the written tutorial for all of them as well. So you can see this is, um, you know, glow in the dark. So I have all of this in here, literally all of it is in here. Everything you need, including the graphs, additional graphs to have fun with, everything is in here, okay? 98 pages, 70 patterns, 40 graphs, and as I said, there are 11 video tutorials and 8 written tutorials. Let me show you everything together. It's right here, so you can see the entire thing together, all written here. It's the ultimate beginner guide from Mosaic Crochet, literally, and I actually decided to add some more um, bonuses down here so you can win something in addition. And we'll get to the winners for the Mosaic Crochet in a second, by the way. Um, and then there's additional things that you uh, um, can win. Let me show you all of them together again, right here. It's a little bit more visible. So all of these patterns and all of these graphs can be yours. Uh, you like my earrings? <laughs> they kind of look mosaic, don't they? This was actually a gift from my husband for our anniversary. So I just wanted to show it. I felt like it was good luck, you know, for this beautiful mosaic crochet party. So I decided to wear it. It's just so beautiful. Uh, absolutely love them. And yes, they totally look mosaic, don't they? <laughs> but anyways, right here are all these different uh, patterns and graphs. Everything you need when it comes to mosaic crochet. Would you like it all? Because I literally have it for you. Okay, so we have all these links. Let me show you all of these. Where's my button? Okay, right here. So you can scan this. If you take a picture, you can scan it. So the entire thing. So let me remind you, 40 patterns. Okay, if you use Mosaic Crochet 10 down here, you can save $10 until Wednesday. Okay, so right here's the link. Keep in mind that Mosaic Crochet has a C, but Crochet also has a C. So Mosaic has a C and Crochet has a C. So there's two C's next to each other. Can you see that? Don't miss that. Mosaic and crochet, two C's, okay, next to each other. So right here's the link, either type it in, or if you take a screenshot, you can scan this guy, whatever you want. You can also hop over to my website, nikkishomemadecrafts.com, and there will be a pop-up. You can go to, um, I don't know, I think there's an ebook. You can go to the ebook tab, it should be there as well at some point. But anyways, here's the link right here. I'm gonna actually put it into the comments too, so in case you want to have it. The entire thing is only until Wednesday for less than $20. I think that's a pretty darn good deal, okay? For 40 patterns, adding 40 graphs, eight tutorials, 11 videos. It's all in here for you, literally all in here for you. You can do all of that. Um, you can learn the difference between inset, overlay, like in detail. What's the difference exactly? There's different types of inset. Did I mention that? There's different types of inset crochet mosaic crochet where you can do with slip stitches, we can do with single crochets, totally different. And I have all the tutorials for you. Tunisian mosaic crochet, there's different versions there as well. Talk about that all in that one video. You can make it in different ways. You can do it with uh, Tunisian slip stitches. You can do it with chains, many different ways. And I show you the, the pros and cons, literally break it all down for you. Teach you how to do uh, graphs, the rows versus rounds. I have it all for you. <laughs> you. All you have to do is take a leap and go get yourself this ebook. You have it all in there. I've shown it to a few of my designer friends and they are blown away. It is literally the ultimate guide for mosaic crochet. So if anyone ever wants to learn mosaic crochet, this is the guide for you. Let me know if you have any questions because now I'm gonna hop into to the winners for the mosaic crochet mystery crochet along. Okay, let me remove all this for a second here. So I can show you the winners. What do the winners win? Well, they win this one right here, which is the ebook. So three of you all are going to win this ebook and get it all for free. Okay, so that's kind of the fun part of the uh, Mystery Crochet Alongs that at the end, I sometimes have a new ebook, sometimes I don't, but in this case I do, and those who were part of it have a chance to win. Okay, so if you follow the, you know, the guidelines, you're good to go. So let me show you the winners. We have winner number one, Joanna Peterson, congratulations. Make sure everyone says congrats. Thank you, thank you, thank you uh, for being part of it. We have Marie Julian, I think that's your last name. Congratulations for you. And then we have Valerie Clark, congratulations to you as well. So three winners, you all three, 
please uh, email me. Here is my email address. Um, those three, please email me and put in the subject line like mystery crochet along winner or some sort, um, you know, something where it can catches my eye. Now I know my winners. So if someone else emails me and pretends to be a winner, it ain't going to work. I know my winners, but you can still email me. If you have a question about the Mosaic Crochet ebook, no problem at all. Uh, here's my email address for those uh, winners. Please email me because I don't have your email address. I found you on Facebook with the hashtags and you did what you needed to do. So I need you to email me so I can get you access. Okay. Congratulations to all the winners. I am so excited for everyone and for everyone else. Go get the Mosaic Crochet ebook. Now it's going to be available forever, also known as Evergreen, right? Uh, but the deal ends on Wednesday to save $10. Okay. So let me get you guys the links again. So we have here all the links and the codes and whatever you need, right? Right here, everything is right here that you need in order to get it. So either scan this guy, here's the link, type it up. Uh, here's the coupon code. There's a little section that says, do you have a coupon code or something like that? Just click on that, enter it, and then click apply. If you don't click apply, it ain't gonna be applied. So make sure you click apply, just like normally, right? When they have the promo code. Right there is the coupon code for you until Wednesday only, you can save $10, okay? Then the price goes back up to $29.99 of some sort. I don't remember exactly the cents. Um, so, but even then it's in stellar deal. Let's just be clear. I'm just giving you a $10 coupon code for the grand opening. Think of like that, right? For the big launch of this brand new ebook called Mosaic Crochet Made Easy. It's the ultimate beginner guide. 17 written out patterns, 40 graphs in total, eight tutorials written up for you, and 11 video tutorials. It can't get better than that, can it? Right? In the meantime, now that winter is coming around, I'm gonna take my baby blanket, and yes, you can make this, of course, much, much bigger, but this is a baby blanket. I'm gonna use that to keep myself warm. I have, of course, my cowl to keep me warm, especially if I hop over to uh, into the mountains. I'm gonna need some boot cuffs, right? And then we have, where's my little hat? Here's my hat. The entire thing, you literally have an ensemble here, right? And if it gets a little warmer, I just use, you know, my Christmas uh, ear warmers to keep me warm. I have it all. <laughs> and you can have it all too. Would you like to have it all? Go get yourself the Mosaic Crochet ebook. And it's so, so fun. So, so fun. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. And if you can't get any two of these links, just leave a comment, say, I would like to have the link or I would like the link and I will literally uh, respond to you. That only works on Facebook, by the way. If you're on YouTube, you have to do it below, not in the chat, but you have to do it below in the comment section. Um, that happens typically after the live is over and the video is still available. You have to do it below into the comment section, say, I want the link, although I will put the link there so you probably see it there. But for Facebook, I also put it into the description once this is over but if you still can't find it just leave a comment and say I need the link and I will get it for you no problem at all if you have any questions I am here for you otherwise enjoy mosaic crochet and you guys have all a beautiful day have a great Saturday bye everyone